to the barbecue talk show my name is matt aka smoking cues coming my up name's phil i'm just a co-host <laughs> coming up on tonight's show we'll be speaking to mike and nick from uk grills they're here to talk to us about a new product in the uk called the art of flame uh as you've already seen we have a special co-host on for tonight uh phil aka daddy cooks so thank you thank you guys. guys how are you mate I'm doing great, man. I'm overjoyed that you brought me on. Hello, everyone in the chat. Overjoyed. It's always a pleasure to have you on, Phil. Thank you, sir. Uh, we, uh, uh, I appreciate you for uh, stepping in such short notice uh, to, to cover Ryan. Um, I won't say why Ryan's not here. That's not my place. So uh, I will briefly skip on that one. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So let me uh, first chuck a full word out from our show sponsors supporters uh the rusty barbecue co bring us an exclusive 10 percent discount code on all of their products uh the meter provide 15 percent worldwide discount on all of their products and our newest supporter glow baltic who we've teamed up with to bring 10 percent off of quality birch charcoal uh, if you head over to the website www.barbecuetalks.com and then if you head over to the partner office page you can grab yourself those discounts from there. So, yes. So, we normally do the Cooks of the Week. This week has been a little bit quiet, so we're going to skip past that bit. Mm. And we're going to jump straight in to the main event. So, uh, we will jump straight into our guests, Mike and Nick. Um, they're here, like I said, to talk about the Art of Flame uh, that they've brought to the UK. Uh, it's been around in the, in the States for a while. Um, C-Mac, who is in the chat, I can see him uh, <laughs> very much, uh, has told us all about these uh, and they look like great bits of kit. So let's bring them in and say hello. There you go. Hands together for the guests. How are you doing, guys? There he goes. All right. How are you doing? Doing well, well man. Thank you. Really good. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. So let's jump straight into it. Tell us a little bit about yourselves. Um, you know, what are you into cooking, cook over flames? How long have you been in what you're doing? Should we start with Nick? Yeah. Um, so I've been a huge fan of barbecue for about 15 years. Um, Really, really enjoy my barbecue cooking. Um, we set up grills probably January last year. Uh, we started it, bringing the Art of Flame products over into the UK. Uh, Mike actually bought an Art of Flame um, off another company that was, that was selling them in the UK at the time. Didn't have the greatest experience through a third party. Um, then when he was chatting with a European distributor, they gave him the opportunity to, um, to bring them over to the UK. So he, um, he showed me the Art of Flame, the colossal monster that it was in his garden. Um, and, then, and then grill started from there, really. It was just a little bit first sight for you, Mike, wasn't it? For your grill. Yeah, it certainly was, yeah. Those yeah. things are huge. <clears throat> I, I love it. They are. They're, they're a fantastic thing to cook on, you know. Uh, the thing I enjoy most about the Art of Flame, well, especially the, the 840 and the Euro 40, so if you get a group of friends around, Corby's not that on most of the head for this year for everybody, but you can all get around it. You've all got beers in your hands. You're all cooking whatever it is you want to cook, you know. And unfortunately, I've got a wife who's vegetarian. So it's a case of, you know, at least I can use it like a tapping yaki grill for her as well. <laughs> do, all the, do all the vegetables on there, you know what I mean? Flipping the carrots around. It keeps everybody happy, you know what I mean? Flipping nice. the carrots around. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> She's, you know, she's the only down. vegetarian in the world that doesn't really eat vegetables either. <laughs> yeah, it's true, that isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that vegetable. I don't like that vegetable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> typical, typical woman, too. That's I mean, fun. Yeah, yeah but yeah, we, we brought them over to the UK, really. Just um, 
well, it's, it's people who haven't experienced that. You know, I mean, I was brought up, I was telling Matt the other day, I was brought up in Australia. I didn't, wasn't brought up in the UK. Um, hmm. Been grilling all my life, basically. You know, it's um, if it's come out of a river or out of the sea, you know, it's all been very fresh, thrown straight onto a grill. And we've just carried on doing that all our lives, really. It's just a, a thing that we all enjoy. Nick gets all his family around, don't you, Nick? You know, yeah. he's a, they're all Greek. All them guys, so they're forever, they're forever <laughs> grilling. You know what I mean? Nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Now, before you got into the art of flame, if I may. Yeah. What were you cooking on? What were you cooking on before that? And then, how did you get to the art of flame? Right, myself. I was booking. On, I was cooking on a Cypriot barbecue, which had multiple kebab points on it. Okay. It was. Um, mm. How many did it have, Nick? It had about 24 kebab points on it, yeah, something like that. All, it had three main spits. We could do we could do piglets on it. We could do full lamb roasts on there. Nice. Um, all the grills, all the grills had multiple points where you could run different motors off and things like that. But eventually, we just we wore it to death. Mm. We basically <laughs> just cooked the thing to death. It died. <laughs> it just couldn't cook anymore. So when I was looking for a new a new project, I thought, well. God, look at these things here. We've, you know, th it looks amazing. Mm. Yeah, you know, so we've got to get these over here, and that's what we've done. We've got them coming into the UK now. We're starting to produce, manufacture some of the parts here as well. Wow! Uh, so we're excited about it. We're really looking forward to bringing this to the UK. To the UK, yeah. you know. Yeah, I agree. Nick, what was your, uh, what were you cooking on before you got to the Art of Flame? Um, I had several, several different grills. I had a Weber. Um, I had a couple of small kettles. Mm. Uh, I had my my favourite barbecue before my Art of Flame was a it was like a half barrel with two separate oh, yeah. two separate grills on. Okay, uh, he was called Bobby Bobby the barbecue. <laughs> nice, <laughs> it was even named. Look, yeah, it, it's, it's not a barbecue if it doesn't have a name. Right? Absolutely <laughs> right. Yeah, he was called he was called Bobby. A lot of a lot of friends of mine will will remember Bobby. Our oh, rest in peace, Bobby. <laughs> uh, but it you know it just it, it, the, nothing really lasted the weather. Uh, hmm. You know, the, the, as soon as they were in, as you know, over here, we don't have the best weather. And even with covers and things, they were just, I went through so many grills and eventually I just needed something that will, that would just last forever. And, and the Art of Flame is the one that will probably outlast me. Wow. But yeah, we, we almost had a Viking funeral when Bobby went. So. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean... I we me and Phil were prior prior to the show we were looking at the the the, the, the different artifacts that yeah. you're stocking, and we we're looking and we're thinking, do you know what? You know, they... and then when you actually look at some of your pictures with you guys stood next to it, yeah, you're like, this thing is fucking colossal. Yeah, this, yeah. Isn't, this isn't small. This is like yeah. a full on bit of kit. Huge. I mean. Massive, yeah. You know, just we're doing research. <laughs> we're, we're doing research for the show, and uh, the pictures on the website. There you go, perfect timing. Yeah. We're like, man, those are yeah. those look interesting, but you know, that one on the far end kind of looks like a bin. No offense, but then we looked at your Instagram. That's yeah. not a bin, man. You could put people in that thing. It's huge. Yeah, yeah. No, this, this one's just. It's deceptive when you. Look it's deceptive. They're all deceptive. Because <laughs> yeah, when you nice. when you, when I first saw it, I kind of put in my mind like um, the little small bird thing that you put in your yard. You know, a little yeah, bird a bowl. Bath. Yeah. yeah, a little bird bath. I was like, man, yeah. who's gonna cook on that? Then we went to your Instagram. I was like, Jesus Christ, man! You could cook cars on that thing. It's yeah. huge. Yeah. Well, we sent the, the smallest one that we do, the A twenty. We sent one out the other day, and. Um, I had to admit yeah. when I was looking at it, I thought, "Geez, guys, it, it really is a big piece of kit." <laughs> we, but for the most people I mean, that like that... like these, they, they take <laughs> them into like the size of the A40. It. That one there, guys. Yeah, yeah, the one. Yeah. I mean, look at it. If you it's made the kid, massive. if you, I hope you don't know him, if you made the kid on his <laughs> get on his knees, you could put him in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you look at there, you go. You look that that just Michael. gives you an idea, doesn't it? Yeah. Of just how how big these things are. And I, I love that, that idea that you had. Have people around, pre-make your uh, your kebabs, or have them make their kebabs, bring them around. Now you're yeah. sipping on a beer. They're cooking their own kebabs. 
you know, mm-hmm. don't reach toward the middle and stumble. You're going to lose your arm. Yeah, yeah. But other than that, <laughs> yeah. that's a beautiful thing. Look at that. It's just huge. I got <laughs> I got grill envy. <laughs> as soon as when we deliver these to people's houses, they they say, they always say to us, they say, we knew it was a big grill. And then when the back of the van opens up, they're just their eyes just they freak out. Yeah, yeah, I bet. It's like, shit, where is this going? Yeah, I bet. I mean, I, yeah, I thought I, you know, it's, it's twice the size of a uh, a Weber kettle. No, it's not. The the massive. And some. Uh, I mean that last face. that last picture I showed it just kind of demonstrates just yes. how fucking huge it is. Yeah. Yeah. I've got the I've got the one series forty inch grill at, at my house, and um, when it came in, Mike brought it round to Mike brought it round to my house, and it was that big. We couldn't fit it through the gate. Wow! Oh, no. So we had to get all the neighbours out to help lift it over the fence. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. So, cute. so are these are these things kind of like you get four guys to lift them in, and once they're in place, that's it? Or can you move them around the garden? You can move them if you take the cooktop off. You, you can move them. Um, yeah, you, you you can move them quite easily. You know, you, you've got to be pretty strong, but you can you can move them about. Do you, <laughs> do you need Eddie Hall to lift the grill top off? Potentially. No. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> I mean, they don't. I mean, they don't look any like small, mean feet either. They're what are they made out of? The grill tops. You, give us a little insight about you know the, the whole product in general. The, yeah. the actual cooktop itself is made from G three six steel. Mm-hmm. And the actual body of it is made from Corten steel, Corten steel. Okay. Um, they'll, they'll last a lifetime. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. My my great grandkids will be cooking on the one that I've got here. It will not corrode and fall to pieces. Its legs won't drop off. That kind of thing. You, mm-hmm. you get that with a lot of barbecues, but these 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 will be around for a long, long time. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. They're, they're, they're they're just built to last, aren't they? That's what they were designed yeah. for. Yeah. They were they were built to be your one and only barbecue. Nice. And I, I love the, the the griddle and the grill combo. I mean. Just a variety of things you can cook on the thing. Just so I could imagine this, the the crust on the steak seared on that thing, man. Mm. Oh, so, they're amazing! They're amazing for that, Phil. You're absolutely right. Some of some of the things that we get to cook on there uh, this weekend, I'm thinking I'm going to do some what's called black blood burgers. Mm. We have a thing here in the UK called black pudding. Uh, we mash that up into the mince with the onions and everything. Get the uh, stilt and cheese on. Get them into a great big bun like that. Yeah. Yeah, ex- excellent, done because we've got the the hot plate, got the grill. We can just yeah. get it smashed out. It'd be, be amazing. Nice. Nice. They, they say in the chat, they said, uh, see, man, said, oh, Phil, you're not paying attention. But, hey, when I saw it, I paid attention quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, we. I think what I've done is I've seen C-Max stood next to the big one with a rotisserie, and I've gone, oh, they're not that big. But then you realize that C-Max is like, I, I I think it's possible that C Mac is Bigfoot. Yeah. yeah. So I'm pretty, that is misleading. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's why it looks small because C yeah. Mac's there, fucking dangling around it. So, <laughs> yeah. You you need something that big big to feed him too, man. Put enough food on. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So what was I the mean, process? How hard was it to bring this product from? You know, one place to the UK. What was the whole process? Was it to take a lot of marketing genius to pull that off, or what? Well, go on, Nick. You want to handle that? Um, uh, not really. To be fair, um, we started dealing with with the uh, Art of Flames distributor in, in Europe, mm. um, and then ended up dealing with the the owners, uh, Michael and Jennifer. They've been absolutely fantastic, really supportive to bring the product to the UK. Um, we we deal direct with them. They, mm. they they just try and do whatever they can to help us. Really, um, they they've been really good. We've got um we've got a shipment on the way from the US. Um, it's probably bobbing around in the Atlantic somewhere. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's not sat in the Suez Canal. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, they've been they've been really really helpful. Um, they've just given us a, a ton of support. Really um, nice. 
to, to bring it over. It's been, you know, it, it's, it's very difficult to bring anything in from America at this moment in time, especially with, with Brexit. Yeah, that was my next question. Between Brexit and the world situation, I don't want to say the word, but it rhymes with highness. Yes. <laughs> Uh, no, it doesn't. It's close up. <laughs> well, I couldn't think of a word that rhymes yeah. with that word. Anyway, with those obstacles, Brexit and the whole world situation, did you have anything you had to jump? Anything had to hurdle to get get it done? Uh, or no? Shipping is a difficulty. All right. Reli- reliability of, of third parties. Um, you know, just just general things out of you out of your control. You know, we were yeah. we were told that it's going to be collected on on one day, and then it's like. Guys, this, we've still got a container full of full of metal sat here. Um, and then <laughs> yeah. You bring the shipping guys, and they just oh, was it not been collected? You're like, no. And then wow. Like, well, you know, it might it might it might get shipped another six weeks. Then You're like, no. <laughs> hey, one of those ships got caught. Where where did that ship get stuck in the? Uh... <laughs> Suez Canal. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. your ship doesn't have to go all the way around, man. That no, would... <laughs> no, we're not there. Okay. Not there. Yeah. <laughs> I watched the news the day and there was just a big container that said UK grills on the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. All no. customers. It's going to be late. Yeah. I mean, I'm, just, I'm putting it down most of it to, um, it's just like a learning curve, really. You know, when you're taking these steps to bring something over the first time, mm. you know, the second time it'll be easier. Third time it'll be a walk in the park. Yeah. You know, it won't be long before we're having these here, permanently stock here in the UK. And with parts being manufactured here as well, that's going to speed the process up a lot quicker for the UK customers. You know, mm, get yeah. these then shipped out to anywhere in the UK, basically on a two or three day basis from point nice. of order to having that dropped off in your home, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. High demand, so, pretty high demand for them. There is and a lot of inquiries for these coming in at the moment. We're just trying to hold people back because we want to get the goods here before we commit ourselves to saying, right, you can have this, that, 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 and the other. Um, in fact, we're going, we've got one, one bunch of guys in London. Take, we're going to lend them an A40, aren't we, Nick, this weekend? Uh, because theirs is on the shipment coming in, so we're going to lend them an A40 so they can enjoy Easter with them. That's, mm-hmm. that's just a sort of cus- customer care. This. Don't be saying this, Mike. Everyone will <laughs> yeah, everyone I saw you guys lined up there in the there back. There you go. Yeah, our <laughs> flame grill said your ship, the ship's stuck in the sewers because they opened your <laughs> container and started grilling. <laughs> Lost <Just> track. <laughs> yeah. Hundreds of, hundreds of pirates time, on yeah. the ship with a snake. <laughs> <laughs> that ship won't start moving until they run out of meat. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So no, yeah, we, you, we you mentioned that you're – sorry, carry on. Sorry, Matt. You know, we, we were just lucky to hold a supply of grills, which is which hopefully will just about get us through until the, the next container that arrives. It's just, um, but yeah, we, we can't wait for the container to get here, really, can we? Nice. No, can't wait at all. So you mentioned that you're going to go into production of making some of the accessories that come, or you know, you can buy with the Art of Flame. Give us a little idea of you know. What's what sort of goes into manufacturing some of these these parts? Well, we've, we've just started. Um, we've got the first batch of the inserts coming off next week. Um, we're just manufacturing the inserts as of, as of now in the UK. Um, as you can imagine, the the they are quite heavy products, so the shipping from from the states was yeah. you know, would, would be huge to get them here. Um, so yeah. the the owners of Art of Flame, um, you know, quite rightly wanted to try and cut the cost down for the for the customer so they were available in england um so they you know they they asked us to manufacture them here so that the, the customer could could obviously receive the discount on the shipping um, yeah which was you know it's it's a very customer centric business that, that art of flame have um you know the you can see the inserts the inserts there for the green yeah. egg yeah, I was going to ask you that. For you say you are manufacturing the inserts for the actual Art of Flame. Are you also manufacturing the inserts for uh, the for other Weber grills and, as well? Uh, yeah, for Weber and Kamado as well. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, sorry, sorry, it's just the inserts for, that that fit into a Weber or a Weber Kamado Big Green Egg. Um, so you can you can turn your existing barbecue, you know, in essence, into a into an Art of Flame cooking experience. Um, okay. You know, by by buying the um, buying the grill inserts. Um, so we're not. That's that's what we're manufacturing here. At this, okay, at this you're point. not you're not doing the grills for the actual art of flame. You're doing the inserts. Yeah, yeah, the inserts. Nice, nice, man. There's, there's still look for some of us people that 
don't quite have the funds. <laughs> we can yeah. we'll go with the knockoff. <laughs> I'd I'd love to have a man shucks, but they're woo, woo. <laughs> I did hear someone say something about lonely. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Mike. I knew this was good. <laughs> just point out, out to the guys the level of customer service you get with Artie Flame. This is, this is where we're at. I understand. I understand. All right. Recipes, man. What is the your go-to thing that you cook? You mentioned the uh, the, the, the burger. Yeah, the but that seemed, burger, yeah. Yeah, that, that seems like something that was special. What's your... Every day, hey, I'm finna go out and cook something. Bam! What's your specialty that you cook on a normal basis? Ooh. To be honest, we, 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 we cook everything, really, don't we? It's, it's <laughs> Good answer. We, 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 we kind of, you sort of lost as what you're going to cook because you've got so much variety as to be able to cook mm. on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. I like to do, believe it or not, I like to do a lot of sort of like a, a Japanese kind of tapenyaki vegetable mix, which mm. I do. I'll marinate that overnight in the fridge. Uh, just get the get the vegetables out. You can just strew them all the way around the hot plate. Mm -hmm. Steaks, whatever you're going to put that with in the middle, and they, the the natural steam through the vegetables coming up through the hot plate just crisps them off beautifully. You can just scoop them out, get them out. They got they're gone within minutes. Everybody loves them, you know, nice. like, a, like a lemon chili sort of garlic taste to them. Absolutely amazing, mm. you know. And seafood, like to do a lot of seafood. I was going to say that you throw yeah. some seafood, man. You the right yeah. temperature, psh, psh, done. That's it. Lobsters, we do a lot of um, cravats on there. Oysters, that kind of thing. You could just put a little bit of a kolosh over the top of them, bit of splash of beer in there, or water, and just steam things off through the hot plate. You know. I'm That's glad you said fantastic. beer. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Usually the, the, the <laughs> with a grill is because everybody stood around it. Nothing ever sees a plate. Nice. <laughs> just, just eat it straight off the hot plate. So just take it straight away. That would be the party. That would be yeah. the part. The focal point of the backyard, and people just standing around grilling what they want on, you know, on a yeah. on a kebab. I love that kebab idea. I love it. Yeah, yeah. we like so to cool. do. Um, you know, we get some German sausages over here as well. The real big fat, big German bratwurst sausages and. Um, the wild boar sausages and things like that. Everybody mm -hmm. loves them, you know. We get them on a stick like a kebab, mix mm. up some big, some big German cheeses on there, get it all melting over the sausages. They love it. You love the sausage, don't you, Nick? <laughs> 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 yeah, not as much as you, mate. <laughs> God, yes. hey. You like it with the that, cheese on, though. No, I was going to say, it needs one. <laughs> so if someone was was in the market, if someone wanted to get any one of those grills, how would they do it? Basically, they just give us a call. They can go online. They can order directly online through the website, ukgrills.com, or they can give us a call on the, on the, on the line that's on the website. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, right, that, nice, and, nice and simple. It's very nice easy to order. That was your time to shine to give you know to know, yeah. <laughs> do your advertising. <laughs> yeah, like a, big, a big advertising board for UK grills should come on in the background. Now. Yeah, I know in neon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys got uh, social media you want to throw out? Yeah, we got the Instagram account UK Grills on Instagram, UK Grills on Facebook. Okay. Um, yeah, we're pretty pretty active at the moment on the socials and um, just getting as much stuff on. We got some good people cooking as well on tomato flame stuff in the UK on Instagram at the moment, some really good people. Nice. Look, I'm throwing out all the shameless plugs. All right, Matt, what you got? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what sort of, uh, have you got anything, uh, sort of any, anything in the pipeline for your social medias, cook-alongs on the Art of Flames, things like that? Any ideas hopefully. that you've come up with? Yeah? Hopefully, yeah. Well, we're going we're, we're gonna to hopefully do some live cooks with some of the accounts that are, some really good accounts that are coming on at the moment. Um, yeah. there, are some, there are some, like I said, there's some good accounts that, that have, um, some of the art of flame grills. Mm -hmm. Some really good accounts have the that have the inserts as well. Um, don't know if you follow barbecue lads. Hillary cooks on his insert quite a lot for his Weber. Yeah. Um, Twisted ribs. John from Twisted ribs. He cooks. So hopefully we'll get some yeah. live cooks. Michael have to cook. Yeah. He cooks a lot better than I do. Yeah. We'll have to um, when we can get COVID out of the way and we can get a few, a few more people around the grill. That'll be the the ideal opportunity for us to start pushing pushing it forward with. People coming in grilling for us, get a big group of people around there, get get a more of a gang gang of people around it so we can start showing the grill off of what it really can do. You know, we mm. get one person on there cooking, 
you're just seeing one person's ID. You have room on there for, say, four people cooking at once if you wanted to. Yeah. It can have all sorts of different things going on. We're having yeah. a sort of a, we're having a, like a station built at the moment where we can start to show off the grills. We can just take one grill out, replace another one put that in and then do the, the footage for all the Instagram and for the Facebook, mm. different socials, that kind of thing. Mm. But as we live in the northwest of the UK, as you know, it likes to um, be wet quite a lot of the time. Yes. So uh, we're just waiting for the, a break in the weather and we can get that finished. Yeah. Free, wow. free umbrella with every grill. Yeah, <laughs> nice. it's got like a little sort of umbrella mount on the side. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to suggest that, won't we? I would think it could it could hold up to a light rain. I mean, because the fire's covered pretty much. It, it could hold up. You get that fire stoking, it's going to steam off anything. You can still get it. Done. Obviously, a, a torrential downpour, you're screwed it no matter what you're cooking on. Yeah, but exactly. I, I think it could it could hold up pretty good in a light mist. Well, yeah. maybe, maybe out in the States it could, but normally up, up here in the UK, in the Northwest, the rain doesn't come down vertically. It likes to, get, it likes to go sideways. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. So, uh, mm. yeah. So we don't get too much in the rain. I could kind of see these as like a, a catering kind of thing for like weddings, things like that. Yeah. Like if, if a catering company was to buy it, take it to a wedding, and you've just, you know, like little. Be amazing. Yeah. You, know, you take your raw kebabs and you cook it. Yeah. It's almost like, you know, such a, a great idea for like a social cook. Mm -hmm. it, it just, you're, yeah. you're all cooking yeah. and chatting, yeah. drinking. Yeah, it's an well, awesome this, idea, really. This, yeah, this is an avenue that we're at. We are going to be going down once we get, can get the opportunity to get get to, to people. Once they Boris lets it all out to play, yeah, then exactly. um, you know, yeah. Steve from Dutchy Cooking wants to know whereabouts in the northwest are you from? Uh, Preston, I... Dutchy, the, the capital of the northwest. <laughs> so. Oh, C-Max says collaborate, c collaboration cooking on the Art of Flame doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Sure. It's just yeah the wedding, wedding idea is great, Mike. Yeah, it's, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't plan I, to I, I, a wedding after a few beers, though. <laughs> <laughs> but it's big enough for, uh, you know, the drunken idiot of the wedding not to fall over and, like, send it flying. <laughs> All right, no, granted, exactly. they're probably going to give themselves third or fourth degree burns on the plate, but it's kind of their own fault. Yeah, yeah. kind of yeah. comes in, comes in the territory of having a barbecue, doesn't it? You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you could, I, I guess, if it was like a a catering company, they could always almost make up the kebabs or you know whatever they're going to cook on it and have them on like a, you know, a tray, and you go there, you go, you know, go and yeah. stick that on and cook it to however you like it, rather than yeah, you know, people offering you these things that potentially might not be to your taste. Yeah, yeah. One, at yourself. one of the avenues we've been contemplating is going on to camping sites and glamping areas, mm. places like that. You know, where they can they can station these in between three or four, three or four the big statics that they have, yeah. things like that, and then people can use that as a communal grill. Yeah, you know, somebody will like that to come out, and then they all they all mix together. Then you know, you'll meet families from other from other wow. cabins and things like exactly. that. It's a fact. It's a fan, fantastic social thing to meet around. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I agree. The, yeah, Art of Flame are going to have to make like a social divider for for COVID. You know. Yeah. COVID. <laughs> COVID. Yeah. COVID. yeah. yeah, yeah. Dutchy says, "I think the insurance risk would be enormous." No, you make everyone sign a disclaimer when they get there. A waiver. <laughs> uh, Art of Flame late waiver. Fault. Yeah, if you lose any body part, yeah. Yeah, it's so, your fault. Yeah. That's America, right. In America, they actually sell um, the grills for sighting, you know, for, for for sighting in you know national parks and things like that. They actually sell a specific grill. Wow! That will come, oh, okay. come inside for you, you know. Yeah. That this 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 you can't move at all. Um, so if you've got a site or you know place in a national park or something, people can mm. just rock up, bring the food, stick some chuck stick some fuel in chuck there, chuck some wood in there, and as well, yeah. Yeah, I was going to going to say, what what sort of fuel do you use in 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 these devices? Do you use whatever you get your hands on or anything you know what, what's the, the go-to uh i mean I, I personally i personally use wood and um, we were talking the other day weren't we i've been cooking quite a lot on older um older's mm -hmm. really good actually but um so cook wood you can you can cook on uh, you know a good charcoal anything really it's um they're, they're really versatile for 
for cooking with, but it's just my my preference is, is using wood. But yeah, Mike, you use a bit of everything, don't you? Yeah, we use use all the wood. Um, we'll throw a bit of cherry wood on there, a bit of oak, whatever yeah. it is that we to, to match up with we'll, whatever we're cooking, really. Yeah, um, and we'll use like a high grade restaurant charcoal as well, not the ordinary briquette yeah. kind of charcoal. We use the, the big high end charcoal that's going to burn for four or five hours. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's some lump cool. lump charcoal. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The, the big that's charcoal. what that's what I would be thinking. Start with a base of lump, and then depending on what I'm cooking, throw in a log or a split or something. That's right. You know, yeah. and get the smoke from the wood, but you maintain the heat from your uh, from your charcoal. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. and it, once it gets the plate hot, you're away for four or five hours. You can yeah. cook on there for ages and ages, and it doesn't take much more to get the temperature back up again either. You know, once once right. you've got got it on the go. Mm. The cooking cycles. If you're out there in the morning doing a breakfast on there, doing your bacon and eggs and stuff like that, you know, you can go out, you can go out for a walk, whatever, and then come back. You can, you can even just keep, carry on going again at, at tea time, you know? Yeah. yeah. That sounds like sounds like my kind of cooking, right? In the morning. Oh. <laughs> you know, I know, in right? The morning and don't stop until, you, until you're falling asleep in the evening. That sounds, yeah, yeah amazing. Yeah. So uh, just back onto the fuel thing. How much fuel are we talking about chucking in one of these i mean are we talking about kilos of of fuel or can you get away with you know a little bit of fuel to heat the plate and and, and it sort of keeps that residual heat it'll depend on what you want to do what what are you cooking if you want to do some steaks you can just place your charcoal and your wood down into the center of the grill and then that will just come up through the grate and you can use the right. grate you know you can put your riser on there mm -hmm. you cook them just in the center of the grill if you want to do a bit more wider kind of stuff that you want to cook on, then you're going to start spreading your lump, lump charcoal around the edges along with your wood. You're going to get 10 to 15 kilo of charcoal in there, I would. I always tend to go over the top anyway. I, I prefer oh, yeah, sure. to um, have it roaring away. At least I can then yeah. we can have a few drinks, let it die down a bit. All It will all depend on what you want to cook. If you're cooking fish, you don't want it too hot. You know, you don't want it to no. burn the living shit out of the fish before you True. start. You know, absolutely you know, right but you can you can also you can also move your coals around because it's in a circle you can move them around and leave yourself with a cool spot on your hot plate mm -hmm. so that's what i was going to ask you you know yeah. you can just scoop it around and then leave it for a cool spot you can move things in there we do we do like a, a butternut squash sort of like a, a tower that we do for like the vegetarians which we sear off and then we just slowly move them around to the cool spot so mm. they'll, just, they'll just basically stew in their own juices you top that off with pomegranate and yogurt. They love them. They absolutely love them. Really we good. actually have that on our site, don't we, Nick? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. See, so I was thinking, so would this be possible? For I'm not, you know, I've never cooked on one. I've just seen it. Keep your cool spot. You throw your steak on there and cook at the temperature at a lower temperature. You know, obviously, I use a lot of uh, thermometers. So I get it to 120, 125, and then yep. take it to the grill in the center and get my, like a reverse sear, then take it to the center, get my grill marks, cook it up and be done. Would, it, would that yeah. be doable? Absolutely, yeah. Spot nice. On, yeah. yeah. Nice. Definitely. And you can, you can position, depending on the size of your, your cooktop, obviously you can, you can position your, your food closer to the, closer to the center, um, mm. you know, bring it further away just to, just to control your, your temperature. Yeah. Uh, really nice. good, really good. I guess this one I, i'm going to ask a, a pre question to this how easy is it if you if you're filling or moving charcoal around or fuel around how easy is it to get to it when it's the, really when easy the, the, the cooking rings on yeah it's really easy the the every grill's provided with like a great lifter so it's, it's right, just okay. a huge hook so you just slot in and pick it up move it over and then you can you can just move your move your coals around sort of, okay fair enough yeah so it's, and then, it's really easy to be fair that like a stir or a mover or something like that. I'm That's sure right, you ain't yeah. sure you ain't reaching in there. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the thing. The, the only thing that I've like in my head, I now realise how fucking big these things are. <laughs> I'm thinking I, I've got this image of someone sort of lifting the grate up and then sort of reach, no. you know, reaching in like right over it. But I guess maybe not so much. No, Matt, I'm five foot four and I can easily reach into the center okay. with a grill, okay. grill riser. I just reach in with the grill riser, lift it off, 
move the coals around, and then you just drag it back in again. It just instantly yeah. interlock, interlocks into the centre again. Nice, um, nice. Dutchy Cooking's uh, asking that you can do um, naan breads on the interior walls. No, you can't, Dutchy Cooking. It's a, a metal base on the inside. Um, I wouldn't imagine your, your naan breads would survive very long in there, to be honest, mate. Right. There you go. <laughs> 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 <It's loud>. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. And, yeah. and for the record, Mike's five four with his heels on. Oh, but there it is. I've seen on the website the you've got um, different accessories like your, your pizza oven that you can use. Yeah. So does that just sit over the center, over the over the grill plate? You get a, have you got pizza stone that comes with it? How, how does yeah, that work? Correct. There's a piece of stone that sits above the actual grill itself. Mm -hmm. Pizza goes on the top. The heat through the grill comes up over the top of the pizza. Two to three minutes, whoosh, out it comes. It, it basically works just like the... Um, you see the small stainless steel pizza ovens that people have got now at the moment, haven't they? Working with the pellet kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's a very, it's like a take on that idea, really. Mm. Um, but it saves you buying an extra pizza oven. You can actually use your out yeah. flame as that station. You know, people can be having burgers, but you can still do pizzas at the same time with the same same nice. machine. Yeah, you don't need a pizza. You don't need a pizza stone for them either. You can just you can just throw them on throw them on the grill. You can yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Because, because of the shape of them and the, the design of them, it obviously it foils the. The, the I, I absolutely love that great riser. I was back once again on your Instagram, I saw you had a great riser and a great on top of it. Yeah. One, it just looks beautiful. But yeah, I like that. It's up higher. You know, you're dealing with your protein or whatever you're cooking there, and then you have everything else around the griddle. That looks great. Right. So good. I cook paella on mine quite a lot. I'm sorry? I, like, okay. I cook paella. I like paella. Yeah, mine. yeah, yeah. That's really good. You know, you can you can adjust it. You, you, put, the, you put the grill riser on, get out the top. Just it's a really good social thing to have cooking in the middle whilst mm. everyone's going. Yeah, going. man. See, I could so, see like a nice big sort of pile of yeah. sat oh, in the yeah. center, and then you've yeah. still got like the outside to cook other things on as well. Yeah, it's fantastic. So good. I want to play with one now. I know, right? I was... <laughs> <laughs> How did you get introduced to it? How did you even find yeah. it? I was I was just looking for a new I was looking for a new grill like I said before my 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 sort of Cypriot barbecue had fallen to pieces but I was looking for something new. Mm. Uh, came across a guy down in Swindon, a little Bedouin called Roger Jones, and he had a very similar thing to the Art Flame um, that would he had a South African guy built it for him, mm. um, but the guy passed away. So oh, that, I'm sorry. That, so that was that avenue closed. And then to just keep looking, just kept looking. I saw the app flame. And I went, bam, that's exactly what I wanted. When I saw the one that Roger had, I thought, I want something like that. That looks amazing. Mm. And then obviously these guys, it, you know, this was so much further along than what Roger had. Mm. So, so that's exactly what I thought. I want, I want that grill. That looks amazing. It covers so many bases for us because we've got all different age people in the family. They all like different kind of things. And you can do it all all at once. You're not backward and forwarding on your grill all the no. time. It's all yeah. cooked one time, there and then. So it's, it's an easy grill. So good, yeah. They certainly do look very, very good. <laughs> oh, dear. Hope, hopefully we'll have two orders tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get that past my wife. You want to buy another what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, flame are these copyrighted? As I've seen some Chinese copies that look the same. Oh, see the Chinese? Yeah. They're always jumping on stuff to just fucking yeah, wrap it this, off. I guarantee yeah. you, you light you light a fire underneath it, and it just fucking crumbles. That angel delight, yeah. gone. Um, th there is there is a company in China that, that does a copy of these called uh, Yang Steel. Um, yeah. There was there was bragging the other day online that they'd done a barbecue with a zinc cook plate. Mm. And somebody no. had to step in. Oh yeah, somebody <laughs> yeah. had to step in and say, "No, guys, you can't cook on a zinc plate." So um, yeah. Oh, you should have told them anything. Your competition would have <laughs> went away. I didn't say anything. But somebody else <laughs> had gone and told them. I just thought, well, you know, if you want to buy cheap Chinese coffee, nobody's nobody's going to be able to stop you. <sighs> yeah, you can oh, pee absolutely. all the blood you want. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You know. Like, wow, zinc. That's crazy. Fuck? That's ridiculous. Honestly. Oh my god. Yeah, think up play, yeah. 
Wow. You might as well just make out a galvanized steel and just let the people fucking die. There you go. Was it not? I thought was it was it not made out? Was it not galvanized steel? Man, I think. I don't know what it was. No, I think you're right, Nick. It was when it's galvanized. Yeah. It was the galvanized oh, software. Oh, it's even worse. Zinc, it's even it's better. Zinc, it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> same yeah. result. Same yeah. result. Yeah. You had yeah. enough heat. So, yeah. You know, yeah, those toxins pour out yeah. into your food. <laughs> And the Chinese, the Chinese ones are not made from core 10 steel or G336 hot plates either. It's just mild steel that they're banging them out in, yeah. you know, so. They may look the same, but, you know, in, in a year's time when they're just a, a pile of scrap metal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the middle of your lawn. Yeah. Yeah, it's all fun and games till your kidney yeah. shuts down because of zinc <laughs> oxide poisoning, you know? <laughs> what you got to do? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we'll never be able to stop that kind of thing, you know? This is true. This it's is just, true. Just, you're just wasting your energy trying to stop these people. So just carry on with your product. You know, you're selling a great product and uh, go for it from that point of view, really. Yeah. Yeah. We would. We so that, well, that kind of jumped into the question that I was going to ask competition. What competition do you have? Any kind? I would think none, with the exception no, of the kidney bleeding Jap no. Japanese, I mean, Chinese version. <laughs> is there anyone else trying to, <laughs> anybody else trying to jump on your bandwagon? No? Um, none that want to keep the customers alive, anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> All they want is the quick win. Yeah. They just want yeah. the money, and they don't care quick if they're book, coming yeah. back for another one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In the short term, it's cheaper. But after your hospital bills, you yeah. might want to go get yourself an art plane. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, funny. So what pushed you guys for the business? What drives you, man? What keeps you guys freaking going forward for the uh, the business? Um, I, I, Other I mean, than money, don't you get off, of course. No. But <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a love of grilling, really. And um, both myself and Mike, we have we have other business interests. Um, you know, grills isn't the only thing we do, but gr we we always look to do something business wise together. For years, we both look grill, we both love grilling, both love cooking together. And then one day when Mike bought the Art of Flame, that was it, really. And uh, you know, and and that's just what drives us on. Um, yeah. Just look, just bringing them over here and. And letting people experience the same thing as you know as we do when we're cooking it's so you're experiencing like i gotta share this with the world yeah <laughs> yeah people, that's basically it. nice you know that's that's basically it there's so there's so much for for people to enjoy on on a big grill you know what i mean you, i mean in america i mean in australia there's people have massive massive grills you yeah. know the, the huge grills and it'd be nice to bring that to the uk to Europe in general, actually, because I think the whole market's ripe for that kind of thing. Mm. Get a lot, get a lot of people right. around grilling, and it's a good, healthy lifestyle, guys. You know what it is. You know what I mean. It's, you know, it all depends on what you cook. You can eat, eat anything unhealthy, but that that sort of thing is is just great. And I think me and Mick, Nick want to push it forward in that sort of sense because it, it's making memories for people. You, every everyone everyone remembers when they were a kid with the parents around the grill, mm. that kind of yeah. thing. You know, and all the things yeah, that you yeah. did. And we want to bring that. We want to bring that into the UK. Nice, yeah. nice. I was going to. I was going to say that this is almost very. You get those sort of. A lot of our guests come on, and we ask them, "How did you get into grilling?" And it's the scouts or with my parents. There you go. Burn, yeah. Burning the shit out of things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that can stop with with sort of an arse flame because you could. You're almost, it's almost like a family thing, you know. Come on, let's go and That's it. everybody go and cook around it. So, yeah, no, awesome. yeah. I mean, I, I could certainly see me taking the little one out and mm -hmm. cooking just, you know, whatever bits of pineapple or whatever that it, it, yeah. we, we'd stick on a skewer and just chuck on there. Yeah, marshmallows on right. a stick. Granted, I'm not. I'm not sure I'd want to cook marshmallows on a stick on the hot plate. I guess maybe. But you know, inherently small. Yeah, in, inherently barbecue is competitive. You know, when you not with an art of flame, when you got your own grill, it's like mm -hmm. this is how I do it. Everybody stay back. Wait till I get done. It's my sauce. It's my technique. You know, and yeah, yeah. you know, I think I can do it better than Matt. Matt thinks he can do it better than Nick. You know, what I'm saying that's yeah. how we are. Yeah. I but said, the art of flame, is, here's flame. Let's cook it right the now. art of flame just takes that away. It's like, hey guys, come on in, community. Everybody, mm -hmm. get your meat, get your food together, and we're gonna cook it together and laugh and joke. And, and I think it, it's more of a community thing, like you were saying, Mike, mm -hmm. as opposed to a competitive 
alpha male. I'm cooking. I cook meat. Yeah. You eat. You know, it's not one of those things. <laughs> you know, I fully you to... agree with you, Nick. Pineapple belongs pretty much in the bin, but you know, some people like it. <laughs> <laughs> He's lying. It doesn't belong. <laughs> it doesn't belong no, on so... pizzas. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah, the, the, art, the great thing about the art flame is you don't have to stand and cook all your own stuff either for everybody. If yeah. anybody comes. No, that's it. Yeah. Exactly. Cook, cook your own stuff. <laughs> No, you get to drink too. Correct. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Instead of doing all the work, you get to sit back and socialize too. But I will uh I will make one correction. Pineapple does belong on the grill, just over there and don't touch anything else. <laughs> you know, don't let no juice get on nothing else, just you know. <laughs> it's 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 a barrier between uh, you know, the grill and the heat. You know, you stick the pineapple yeah. underneath and stick the steak on top of it. <laughs> it just sits there so you can smell it, but don't eat it, you know, don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, it's, a be- it's, a, it's a dessert, isn't it? You chuck some brown sugar on top of like a whole cold bit of, pineapple. Yeah, a bit of, bit of cinnamon, bit of brown sugar. In, on in it, the yeah. tin foil, that's it. Or, yeah. shameless plug, Uncle Steve's dessert shake. Uncle Steve. So, <laughs> on pineapple. Oh, my God. Oh, I did, that I've done it. I've done oh, wow. it a couple of times, I tell you. <laughs> oh my word. My stuff is damn good. And then Pickles has just said uh, tacos al pastor as well. That's got oh, pineapple. Yeah. And I do you know I'm gonna be doing that sometime in the next couple of weeks. I'm sitting here trying to think what is pineapple good with? Um I'll get uh, back to you. Uh, <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> The bin. The bin. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say whiskey, but it still had to stay over there, and I could look at it. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a pineapple fan. Yeah. It's, it's good in cocktails, but I drink name one alcohol, man. I don't drink cocktails. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that goes in my drink is either ice and lips or just lips. Those are my mixers. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. I'm a simple man. That's nice, nice. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with some random ones. So first memories of cooking, like mm. over flames. Give us those ones. Yours is gonna be miles more interesting than mine, Mike. First memories being at a lake in Australia. Mm. Cooking at the side of Lake Eildon with my dad. We've been camping. And Believe it or not, this is this, to my shame, it was on a gas grill. And out in Australia, you had to put 50 cents into the machine and it turned the gas on and the hot plate lit no. up. And you had a grill at one side and you had the hot plate at the other side. And all the wild birds were coming down. All wanted feeding, bacon, all your bacon rind and things like that. The kookaburras would take all that off you, that kind of Gosh. thing. Absolutely marvellous. Then they're, they're all over Australia, them sort of stations that they yeah. have. And that's really? that's my first image of being out, being out, out so outdoors and grilling. And it just took off from there. From from that point forward, we, we've never stopped grilling, basically. We, we do it all the time, yeah. That's interesting. I've never heard of that. Never yeah. heard, you know, <laughs> coins to get gas. That's amazing, man. Yeah, yeah. You should, just a 50-cent coin, put it in. You've got about 40 minutes of gas. And yeah. you just turn the machine on, you cooked away, wiped your top down, and then top an down. hour or two later, somebody else would come along and use the same grill. And they had wow. them around, you know, like in little um, pullings on the side of the motorway, things like that. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. There's an idea for you, boys. That's I know, man. I might have to bring that to America. <laughs> <laughs> There's an idea. Yeah. Oh, cool idea. Yeah, well, man. It's just getting all those gas feeds in everywhere, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You just, you'd just use cylinders, wouldn't you? Put yeah, into, uh, sort of yeah put some cans and you have to rotate and you'd have to change your cans and replace the coins with a credit card swiper. <laughs> yeah, you would uh, yeah. contactless. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 40 <laughs> minutes, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Retinal scanner. Yeah. 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 yeah nice. <laughs> Retinal scanner. I'm going to cook this steak today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's funny. What about you, Nick? First yeah, so, memory of cooking. Yeah, so I let Mike go on that one because he's just miles more interesting than mine. So um, mine would probably just be um, cooking in the back garden and probably my, my dad cooking uh, barbecue. He's My dad's mm-hmm. a fantastic cook. 
terrible at barbecues uh, by his own admission. He'll burn everything. So that was just, <laughs> I was every time I ask the question, it's the same. Someone best to come in three. Like, yeah. Best to yeah, come in three. My yeah. dad thought he was the best. Yeah. Suck yeah. <laughs> yeah. it. Mine too. I just, yeah, I just had to prove that I was better. <laughs> yeah, I was miles better. So yeah, so, um, yeah, so, so just that really. And then um, you just think to yourself, yeah, you just think to yourself, that was just, I, I just loved the, the whole cooking over an open flame and being outside. It was just, it was just great. And then after, ever since then, just love barbecue, really. Mm, nice. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. Stuff. Um, there was another one, and I it's just a, it's just evaded me. So great. Um, <laughs> that's what. <laughs> yeah. Mind fart. That's an edit point, everybody. Do <laughs> yes, that's an edit point for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, oh yeah, that was it. Hot and fire. Uh, hot and fire. Quick round or quick question round. There we go. That was a complete jumble of words. <laughs> hot fire. Quick question round and that's even worse of a tongue twister than yeah it needs to be i need to think of a better name for that don't i so it's just a few questions that we ask to our guests um first thing that comes to your head i'm going to bounce in between nick and mike so no i'm not i'm going to ask them both but we're going to do both so okay. hot and fast or low and slow I'm going to guess you're going to go for hot and fast with the hot and fast. Hot, yeah. hot and fast, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, you guys, day or night birds? Oh, night. Mm, I'd say day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Beer, beer or we spirits? Oh, depends. Oh, that's a tough one, that one, isn't it? Mm. Beer. Um, beer. Can we not say spirits? Yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Nice. Yeah. Bit, of beer, bit of beer and a bit of spirits as well. I, 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 yeah. I wouldn't like to choose, really. Yeah, beer for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw in a, a, an extra one for this. Lump, briquette, or wood? Wood. Yeah, wood, I'd say. Wood. Mm. Yeah. All day long. Pork, pork or beef? Beef. beef. Nice. Oh, oh uh, no, I don't know. Oh, it depends on the cut of pork, I suppose. You know. Um, Go on, divulge. Give, give, give us your your favourite cut. Oh. This has gone from quick fire to yeah, a little bit more. To be honest, to be honest, I like um, a deboned leg, and then mm. uh, rub rub that with herbs, then rolled and tied. But then then we slice it, and then we, we cook it on the hot plate, and and so it will just cook as like leg steaks. Like that. They're amazing. So almost like flat. Yeah, almost like flat. Yeah, little... that's right. Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't smoke it first. Um, if I had the time, I would. But if it if it was a case of just running out the back garden, quick, I got you. The I got you. Sort of thing. You know what I mean? We, we would. I would either marinate it or I would smoke it first. But if not, we just get straight out there. So as you said, I was like, I know he's gonna smoke. Uh, ribs wet or dry? If you're a ribs fan, oh, that's tough, isn't it? Yeah, mm. like them both. Um, dry, I'll go for dry. Yeah, dry, probably. Yeah, go for dry. In fact, as long as I can have a jug of sauce on the side, that's what I can say. You can cheat uh, dry yeah, with a sauce on the side, yeah, so yeah, cook them dry. And you, and that, that's my thing. I cook them dry if you want sauce and fucking brewing what I've done to those ribs. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> um, that's a new one. I haven't seen that one both. Shrimp, so fish or meat? Meat. Oh, fish, for me. Yeah? Ribs. Yeah, fish. Yeah, I love fish. Too Burgers much vegetarian going on for you, mate. No. <laughs> no, I'm trying to crack doing but oct octopus on it. I wanna, Ooh, I wanna, yeah. I wanna try, try and crack doing an octopus on the art flame. Um, get a big, get a big, get a big one as well. Yeah. Sort of, I've, I've been told I've sort of got to sort of broil it in red wine first. Don't know if that's true. Um, and let it cool, and then grill it off on the hot plate. Well, I'll, I'll have an experiment over this spring and summer on that, and then we'll probably bring that to the socials and see what I'll that looks like. 
I'm going to hazard a guess that Pickle is going to chime in in a minute because he's cooked octopus quite a few times. Mm. So we'll wait and I'll pop up the. Uh, the I would love there. to know how to do it on the grill. I've, every time I've done it, I've struggled to be honest. It's been it's always come up a bit tough. Yeah, yeah. you got to deal yeah, with yeah. the tenderness. Yeah. 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 So I can't last cook. one. Burgers or hot dog? Burgers. Egg burger. Smash burgers all day. Yeah, smash. Yeah. yeah smash burgers. Burger. And on, I tell you what, on the art of flame, it must be absolutely piece of piss to do smash burgers. Yeah, it is. It's a dog. <laughs> Done. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, pickles. So pickles says we've freeze got, octopus. We've got freeze two. it. Yeah, yeah. pickles yeah. says freeze octopus. It tenderizes it as well. Oh, sous vide the octopus first. Oh. Sous vide the octopus first. So. And then, oh, and then okay. Art of Flame. Oh, okay. oh, and then Pickles has said, yeah, freeze the octopi, that octopus, it tenderizes it as well. Right, okay. There you go. And then C-Mac is, C-Mac's on a, on a quest to find new British swear words. So, <laughs> you know, I, I, I gave it, when, he, when, he, when he came on the show, I gave him a quality one of Cockwomble, and cock he, wumble, nice. it just doesn't stop with Cockwomble now. Cock um, so, have you got any equally as peculiar uh, from up north that he can add to his book of crazy swear words? Cunt muncher. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I got to give it to you. Man, I love it. It's a great word. <laughs> Matt, can, you, can you edit that bit out, please? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like he's got to it. <laughs> Excellent. Nick, anything, anything to ask? Just, 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 just don't give me questions like that. <laughs> I will write to the it every time. <laughs> how, how do we get all that up? I don't even know what to say. He's just <laughs> Excellent. And then Nick, yeah. Nick in, the, in the chat is put shit house. So uh, someone is. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very northern, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah shit house is a good one. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Got much. I like calamari, but the yeah. best I've had is a restaurant, Motel South Santa Barbara. I was going to say, calamari. Could you do calamari on the. Um, on the art of flame, yeah, of yep. course, it's good. Yeah, Ooh. you can right. do you can do like a seafood cocktail on there, you know, with all the different type of shellfish and with, with squid and all that kind of thing. Yeah, you know, um, you just brought out a um, just brought out a wok accessory as well. It's like a riser, and it just, and it, it just yeah, yeah you've got the wok on there. Yeah, you can just put your wok. Oh, oh that so would be great. Well. Yeah. Concentrate the fire in the middle. Yeah, yeah, and then just throw a wok on top of that. Direct. Yeah, oh, good. that would be great. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, some of the, yeah, the accessories are insane, aren't they, really, for the Art of Flame? Yeah, they're stunning, aren't they? The risers, all the things that you've got, you know, for, for just even getting the fire going, you know, I mean, they're, they're amazing. Yeah, there you go. So in the US, the 40-inch the grill sells the best. So I guess, that's, uh, I guess that leads to ask, what, what's been the biggest seller so far for you guys? Euro. Yeah, yeah. Euro. Euro. The Euro, Euro 40. Yeah, it's a yeah, yeah. The, the minute people see it, they're just like, yeah. I, I want it. Yeah, it's yeah. A piece of yeah, I, I, I can quite see why people would say, you know, I want that. It's yeah. just, I mean, even if you didn't ever use it, it's an awesome sort of centerpiece for your garden. Yeah, correct. Just, yeah, you know, people could look out your window and go, "Why the fuck have you got such a giant bird bath in your <laughs> garden?" Yeah, and, you, and then you go, "It's not a bird bath." Yeah. So we can grill yeah. more birds. Come with me. Come with me. I'll show you what this is. Yeah. yeah. The only birds that are going on this are big birds that we're going to yeah. cook and we're going to eat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, even if you yeah. even if you didn't if you even if you never grilled on it, you, you know, you just took the cooktop off. I was, you double as a fire pit, so even if you just have one as a fire yeah. pit, it still yeah. look amazing. So yeah, it's, it's wonderful, really. That's a big old fire pit too. That by the time you fill fire. that up, yeah. by the time you fill that up with wood, yeah. you yeah. get that going. Yeah. Okay, yeah, everybody's ten feet back. back. Everybody yeah. ten feet back. Oh, that's yeah, great. That's right. You're all, you're all <laughs> no, 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 yeah. yeah. You'd be felling a few trees each week, wouldn't you, to fill that up? Oh yeah. I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you'd have to. You'd make make very good uh, friends with a tr local tree surgeon or something. Yeah, I'll have any of you would. Just chuck it on there. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, awesome stuff. Yeah. Well, um, I guess let's talk about that gin that's just gone flying across the screen. You did want oh. to talk about it. Oh, oh, this one you mean, Mark? Oh, this one. Yes. <laughs> Come on, tell us, tell us all about it. Yeah. And no, what just, what uh, the connection is? No, we we don't really have a connection. We just um, we've just been given this by by a local gin distillery, 1842. Um, it's the new Alchemist brand that's out. It's London Dry Gin. They do several of the gins. We're just, we're just very lucky to have been given um, some of the samples of the first batches. It's it's really, really good. It's going to be um, available on the website throughout the UK. Nice. Uh, oh, yeah. The strawberry laces one is meant to be very nice, though, but um, I'm not a gin drinker myself, Ooh. but uh, I hear good things regarding this gin. Yeah, it's really good. Strawberry laces, you've sold. I, I'm sold. <laughs> yeah, you are you a fan of the fruity stuff, Matt? Yeah. See, I um, any of the flavored gins. Uh, yeah, awesome cocktails, and funnily enough, now flavored beers seem to have been doing it for me as well. So, I had like a, a milkshakey rhubarb custard type one. Um, Brew York is the the. The brewery, Rhubarba, Rhubarbra Streisand was the, the beer. Oh my <laughs> fucking life. I am not joking. It was one of those beers that hmm. I could pick up and I could put 24 away very, very easily and not realise you've done it. It was just light. No, in the summer, it's that's going to be one of the, like, the most refreshing beers I'm going to have. Wow. It was just like... Yeah, it was like, you know when you grab like a freezing cold can of like, I don't know, 7-Up or whatever? Yeah. It's boiling hot, you drink that, and it's, it was like that. It was like, oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, 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 oh. I'm like, I got to like the bottom, and I'm like, I don't want to drink this. It's far too nice. <laughs> and I, I found myself. Yeah. I mean, you know what craft beers, they come in like small little cans. I'm now this. <laughs> no, that's enough. That's enough. Just enough to like sort of get it on the palate again. <laughs> And then carry on cooking. Don't want oh, to do it. No, I didn't. No, definitely. Nice. Amazing. amazing stuff. For someone that doesn't drink beer at all, um, I seem to have yeah, fallen in love with I it understand. very, very, very <laughs> easily. <laughs> I feel he's your pain. Just to, he's only doing that just to get an arm workout. Yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah. I've been drinking slow. Like I don't want to be. What's that guy doing? <laughs> I was like, I didn't want to be I distracted. Like, I was say, certainly not like you, Phil, to drink drink slow on our show. <laughs> you're, you're normally chasing. It's not my it's show. Just, it's because Ryan's not on, and Ryan normally sets the bar pretty high with the drink. He's you know, constantly throwing them back. Um, I, maybe I'm a little bit more sensible with the drink. <laughs> I, I would just try to be polite. Trust me, if this was my show, I'm like, I'll be right back. <laughs> this was fantastic, man. I, you know, um, to just be introduced, I've seen this online, but to learn more about it and to actually, um, one, understand how big the thing was, you know, I've seen it. But I wasn't really paying attention to it as much. But wow, hell, I want one, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I want one. I just got to figure out how to con my wife. <laughs> uh, but I, I love it. I love it. You've got a friend of me uh, in in the chat on YouTube. He's uh, he said you need to get them in the garden centers. In the works. They, yeah, in the works. Was, fair enough. In the works. There you go. Yeah. So you're already working on it. Excellent stuff. Yeah. Awesome. But if he does yeah. own the garden center. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> we need some plants too. <laughs> yeah. like, uh, there you go. It doubles up as like a, you know, if you if you don't want to cook it, you, it's, go, yeah. you know, it's a big planter. You know, yeah. Everyone's a winner. Yeah, everyone's a winner. <laughs> it looks like uh, you know a lot of a lot of people in the chat of uh, you know, keen keen to get hold of one of these. So. I guess a good good time for you to uh, plug your social medias, your website, and any once other again, yep. that, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the infos, guy. Get a, get yes. across to ukgrills.com, guys. You can uh, see all the latest ones that we've got got coming into the UK. Uh, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook. You do all that handle, all that, Nick, don't you, mate? Yes. 
Yeah. That's it. Yeah, for me. But yeah, but, um, yeah, Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, ukgrills.com. Excellent. Sorry. There you go. So, I think that kind of boils down to the kind of the last questions. Are you guys keen to stay for the pub club? The pub club being a uh, a bit where we invite the guests or the, the people that are in the chat in to ask any questions they have to you. Yeah, stop and there. If, and, Phil, you, Phil can, Phil and then, then I can like, stop so, watching my beer and I can start drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> Phil can start drinking. You're right. Okay, I'll, then. So I'll, I'll have to leave you. Um, I'll have to leave you and maybe leave you on mic if that's okay. Sure. Don't the, worry, isn't it? Is that okay? Yeah, fine. like I've said, you you guys can stay for as long and as little as you want. It's uh, you know, it's one of those segments that is uh, cut from the the, the the main show anyway. It's just something for our, our guests, the sort of the listeners and followers, to be able okay. to come in and ask any questions. So, ask yeah. questions, turn into fans, turn into customers. You know, you get to spread the spread the wealth. Absolutely. I'll stay, right. yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stay on for as long as I can, but I'll just have to go eventually if that's okay. Just got some family. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. Yeah, no problems. Right. I'm going to run the uh, the intermission, uh, and we shall see you guys in about a minute and a half. Okay. Uh, and we'll open the pub club. Melty see guys. You guys Guess what? Guess who we have in already in the green room? He's nodding at me. I can see it. It is the Yeti that is C Mac. What's up, you <laughs> cock wobbles? <laughs> <laughs> my my favorite word. Well. Matt, Matt regrets teaching me that uh, no, that swear no, ever since. It's the best goddamn word ever. I, I'm I, I'm taking upon myself to make that a thing in in the U.S. So. <laughs> Yeah, promote it, promote it I try to use it as much as, as humanly possible. <laughs> That's awesome. Cock wobbles across the pond. That's right. That's right. What's going on, boys? We haven't had a chance to meet kind of face to face, but. Uh... <laughs> oh, see, I need one of those. That's awesome. <laughs> Good old cockwomble t-shirt. Yeah. How are you, see, Mike? I'm good. I'm good. We were just out at the uh, friend's brewery, and uh, I got the little reminder that uh, you guys were going live in 15 minutes, and I said, oh, shit, let's uh, drink these beers quick and get back. Nice. 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 Thanks for joining. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job. It's always fun to hear uh, hear other people out there talking about Art of Flames. Yeah. Absolutely. And you've been beating the drum, aren't we, Mike? 
was going to say, c has been beating the drum for, for ages with, with, with his. Um, but, yeah. So I'm gone. It's good to see them now sort of coming over this way. Yeah. Definitely good fun. Yeah. I, I, can't, I, I can't wait to see him sort of... Um, do you know what? I, I think a good idea for you guys, when COVID fucks off and gone. people can meet again, things like uh, Mold and Smoke and Fire Festival, things like that, you should take one and just yeah. have like a free for all for people that are, you know, That'd be a good idea. you know, any of the, any of the barbecue in um, sort of meet up, take one with you and just dump it in the middle and be like, yeah, I'll cook on this. Yeah. We, have, we, have been, we have been looking at some of the shows over here that, 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 have, got, that have been going around, but they're all very tentative about how, when they're going to go live, if they're going to go ahead this year. Um, we have one yeah. uh, that comes up to Southport, near the, which is near us, and it's looking like that might not go ahead yet. Yeah. So yeah. we're just waiting for for the all clear sort of thing, and then we'll sign yeah. up to all these sort of things. You know, it'd be an idea for us to get down to the Home and Garden show as well at Earl's Court, that kind of yeah. thing. Um, clear. Yeah, that it works extremely well at something like that. Just got to wait for the air to clear, That's literally. <laughs> Yeah, is, is, is Glee happening this year? Do you know, that's that's the one at the Birmingham one. Not that I'm aware. No, no, don't know where. It's, at the moment, everything's sort of up in the air till at least May. So okay. we're, we're just sort of hanging on, but we can move quickly with it. You know, the stuff we've got the stock here already, and we've got some mm. grills sat to one side waiting to go to shows and things like that. Um, I mean, if, if, guys, if you we'll want somebody there. to do demonstrations for you, you could always send me one and I'll... Uh, well, you know. You know. But... <laughs> <laughs> Our main plan is to try to get up into the Lake District this year, up near us. and Because um, uh, Nick's, one of his friends, has a, an actual sort of apartment on the edge of the lake with a big jetty on it. We want to get the 840 on the end of the jetty. Mm. Uh, nice. Friends with... Uh, and and watch the jetty of... collapse. No, 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 no. It's, 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 a, it's a big concrete jetty. We were already no, caught that okay. We thought, hmm, let's have a think of this. But a friend of ours has a speedboat company, so we're going to sort of tie them in where we can get some water shots done and um, get drone shots done and things like that. From I think they'll do well with that. No. Nice. Sorry, guys. Yeah. That's all right, Nick. Don't worry. Yeah. Laura giving you a good idea again, Nick. She is, yeah. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> Had to turn the camera off. <laughs> Well, 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 you're in there. <laughs> I'm running all. <laughs> yeah, I got the t-shirt. I got the t-shirt, man. I got the t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So, have you been out cooking on your C-Mac recently? Yeah, on I did. Actually, I've got. We did a um, collaboration with a um, with a meat purveyor in i believe they're out of chicago billy doe meats who specialize in uh like goat and lamb and they sent uh they sent a bunch of us from uh from the art of flame team um some goat and it's, it's actually been years i used to travel out to jamaica a lot and would have like curry goat and stuff and it was really yeah, yeah. good but it's been years i in fact i'm not even sure i'd ever cooked it so um I did a cook on uh, on the forty um, the other day. Did some uh, actually used the wok holder. Did some stir fried goat with the ground goat, and did some loins and chops on the plancha, and it was fantastic. Actually, I think uh, so. Our, our our goal was to post the uh, the pictures this weekend, so I'll probably be posting those in the morning to my Instagram account. That but yeah, cool. we we finally started getting some decent weather out here in New England, so. Um, been out on that a lot. I did some lobster on the uh, big green egg with the Art of Flame insert the other night. I um, saw that. That looked amazing. What you yeah. Had. The boxes that you put them in as well. That was really good presentation. That it looked amazing. So those little brick nick boxes, I just got them a couple of weeks ago. I've been looking at them for a while, and they are a lot of fun. And you yeah, can really, I mean, I've amazing. cooked on Yeah. I, so I've cooked on them so far um, on the Art of Flame. Just on the big green egg, even in, in just my oven when I didn't, you know, when we were having crappy weather the other day, and they're just they're just a lot of fun to cook with. And I'll tell you what, there's some 
there's some accounts out there that have had those things for a while that just do some beautiful, beautiful cooks. Yeah, they looked amazing. They, 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 um, really, they really caught, caught the eye. Them, yeah. Who do the tomahawks on the, um, yeah, the tomahawks? Cool. The, yeah, there's a lobster. The yeah, uh, yeah. Ca Captain Ron did those yeah, tomahawks, uh, the the wow. dueling tomahawks on the Art of Flame rotisserie the other day. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I don't know. Really, Listen, I get. Like I don't even care. Well. I don't even care about the cook. I, I give him really credit. Not. I give him credit for tying those up well because I do. I've used my rotisserie a lot, and. <laughs> I'll tell you about no, halfway I through, I got, you know, if I'm doing birds, I got a wing or two flopping off. But, man, how he kept those two tomahawks on there, I still don't know. Yeah, see, that's that picture right there, that's where the Art of Flame really shines. Yeah, that's gorgeous. That's what it's all about. I was yeah. over here looking up, I was looking for your YouTube channel, but you haven't posted in a, in a little bit. And then he pops up with Instagram. I was like, ah. I, yeah, I, so I've been slacking. I've been slacking on full videos. And, and uh, you know, if, uh, frankly, Instagram is so so much quicker and easier. Yeah. Yeah. But I got to get back to doing I, I really enjoy YouTube. I enjoy doing the editing and everything. But it just... I don't know. Seemed to kind of get away from me for a little bit. So this well, summer, now, yeah. Now that, I hate editing. I'm yeah. good at it. I just freaking hate doing it, man. I yeah. don't like editing, but I love doing videos. So it's it's crazy. Yep. Yeah. How have you found your walk holder? That's nice. So the walk the walk holder is fantastic. It um it snaps right on the grill grate riser. You can use any walk that you've got. Seats in there really nice. You got to make sure to build the fire kind of you know tp style because you yeah, want yeah. generally you want that walk Focus, uh, yeah get the fo flame focused up towards it yeah mm -hmm. exactly mike yes but it's i mean it it, it works perfectly it, it, it's a really cool simple addition uh, i see that that gator shake i said i saw that <laughs> you know is. you know i love me some gator shake phil <laughs> <laughs> uncle steve's great i just did a, 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 a test live and uncle steve jumped in and uh, wow. man, he's just a great dude, great supporter. He's fantastic. Yeah, that is incredible. Yeah, I mean, you know what? It, it, it's really you could, like, yeah, it's really more versatile than a lot of people think too. You know, you yeah. can really do a lot of different kind of you know a, a different kind of cooks on it. So it's just been fun to experiment with and yeah and. Oh. Oh, uh, there you go, Mike. There's the. Oh, uh, look at that! Oh uh, man, I'm a sucker for seafood. So look, look surf it. and turf. Yeah, art artichokes it's underneath. Amazing. Come on, man. Yeah. We do a little Killing. bit of everything. Yeah. See, we've we've got See, a few fussy. We've got a few fussy eaters in the family. We've got vegetarians and things like that. And this is one of the reasons why why I got an art flame because I just thought yeah. I can do everything on this. Yeah, you know that's... I mean? this, this just it brings them in it's before they're sort of on the edge of it all. You know, they're eating mm. vegetarian sausages. What the fuck are they? You know, <laughs> what's in them? You know, they, they put the word Absolutely. vegetarian on like it's healthy. It's not. What the fucking hell they put in them? So you you get the proper vegetables on there. And you can do them. You can plant them. You can grill them. You can steam them. You can do everything in one thing. Yep. And that's uh, to me, that's where they fly. I think yeah. that it's such a great machine yeah. for that kind of thing. The, ver the versatility is unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, yep. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you can just plus, watch. As you, plus, as you guys talked about earlier, I mean, it is a statement piece. You know, I, I get, you know, I get some people coming over and look at my big green eggs. Oh, you got a big green egg, but I'll tell you what, they look at us. What the hell is that thing? And they want to, yeah. they want to go down. They want to touch it, and they got a yeah. million questions. It's just, yeah. it's unique. You know, it's a beautiful piece out in the backyard, and yeah. It's like the Jupiter 2, man. Y'all remember Lost in Space? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, just, it's just this yeah. beautiful spacecraft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Warning, Will Robinson. Grilling meat, motherfucker. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bill, I, dropped, I, mean, I, I delivered one of these personally to a guy in, in Oxford, uh, down, oh. da, in, down in Oxford in England. And uh, when, when we arrived, they opened the back doors. And it was an A40, and it was upside down in the back of the van. Yeah, yeah. They all lost their minds. They were running around in circles, screaming. They just couldn't believe it. They yeah. picked it up and they ran around the back and put it at the side of the swimming pool. And they were throwing wood in it and starting light it before they'd even got the hot plate on. <laughs> <laughs> By the time I left, they were cooking on it. They shouldn't have been cooking on it. They sort of seasoned the plate. They just freaked out. 
just couldn't nice. wait to keep going. There was a there was a guy we sold one to in the New Forest, and um, and we we said to him, we said, oh, you know, do you, do you love grilling, or you know, do you, it's going to be amazing? Do you, do you grill that? He was like, no. I've bought this because none of my fucking friends have got one. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's, nobody's seen this and they're all going to be jealous. No yeah. 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 Oh, you're talking about uh, putting a fire in it. That brings a question. I wish I would have asked it during the actual podcast. Uh, seasoning. Do you have to season the grate or anything? Anything special? Yeah. Th- that yeah. You, you do have to season it like you do a, a, like a, like I a don't know, stone. a black stone or something. You got to yeah. season it just like yeah, that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Should have asked that question of- during the podcast. We say we say to people all the time, don't we? Don't forget to season your grill. Make sure you okay. season it. Leave it overnight. Fire it up in the morning if you want to cook on it. Season it. Nobody about, written though. About Nobody an hour written later, written they're all, they're just, just cook on it straight away. Yeah. 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 <laughs> my, so, so Mike and Nick, it's funny that you say that because I see a lot of pictures. You know, somebody shows their first cook on Instagram, and you can tell very easily, yeah, right? Yeah. Very, very <laughs> silver, and uh, they got the yeah. food on it. But yeah. you know, but there's nothing that you can do, it, it, even if you do that. Nothing you can do to ruin the things, right? No. You, know, you no, scrape, no. you get a little rust on there because right. it's not seasoned in a spot. You scrape it, re-oil it, or you know, and and, and you're good. It's just. You know, like these guys said, it, my, you know, my grandkids will be cooking on this thing. Yeah, I mean, even if you get a rookie or someone that isn't aware of having to season it, if you keep cooking on it and putting oil, eventually it's going to season. Now, Correct. Gonna, yeah. There's yeah, going to be a absolutely. lot of shit sticking until it gets that way, but sure. eventually it's going to season. It's season, yeah. So I don't even put a cover on mine. No. No? Don't even, don't even put, a, put a cover on it. That's, cool. that's, because we, we that's because we sold your cover. <laughs> oh, there it is. I keep expecting to walk out back one day and find the grill gone. No, yeah, no, yeah. Not quite yet. We've not got to that point. It's well. I mean, if the container ship stays in the sewers, it won't be long. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be swimming out there to get it. I'm yeah. excited to get the classic in, to be honest, because the classic hasn't been in Europe yeah, before. Yeah, never been in. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm really excited to get the classic here because I think it's a beautiful grill, and yeah. um, I think, like we said before, if we could get it to a home and garden show, that kind mm-hmm. of thing, they'll, they'll fly out the door. Them yeah. things, you know what I mean? What yeah. are we, are we gonna, what are we gonna try and do? Smoke and fire? What are we gonna do? Smoking yeah, fire. what was that yeah. one? That was looking at the you other day? Yeah, yeah. Will you be there, Matt? Yeah. Well, I was, I wanted to get it's on my birthday, it was on my birthday last year, the year before, even. Um, and we didn't do it, but I am really, really tempted because uh, this is, I mean, this the one in, in Malden is going to be the one that's, that they keep on as long as yeah. Boris decides to drop what he, you know, all the rest yeah, of the yeah. things that we, we're doing. Uh, so that one's planned to stay. The rest of them, because they were going to do um, all of the different places in the UK, weren't they? They were going to yeah. do four shows. They've cancelled yeah. the others until next year. Mm. Um, I am really tempted, just even just to get out and, and see people. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah I know. I'm I quite know. tempted. Yeah, <clears> I mean, it's outdoors could, anyway, isn't it? So. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I, mean, you know, I, I could see these things like at Glasto or something like that. Eventually, I mean, there's gonna be a lot, of, lot of pissed up people that are going to burn themselves on it. But you know, <laughs> yeah. look, just roll them around; they'll be okay. Just roll them around. I mean, yeah. glass, glass though they they have all of these like fad um, foods, so they have pop up like yeah, things. Yeah. And do you know you could quite easily see like sort of four or five of those, and just you know yeah. sort of uh, you pay for the experience. You go in right, okay, we're gonna. Yeah. Bring in like I don't know. You could almost have like art of fame chef experts, and they give you like a a master class of how to cook. You know, prepare and cook something on it. You the the possibilities are endless with that with that yeah. with those grills. To be honest, just, really the community yeah. aspect is what I love about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, just you know, the whole community thing. It's. Like I said earlier, you know, barbecue is kind of a competitive thing. You know, I do it better. No, I do it better. I, uh, you know, that Cro Magnum man type of thing, Neanderthal, you know. Yeah. But you bring in a, a big freaking cooking apparatus and people can get around it and they can talk and they can cook. You can do what that person's doing or you do it on yeah. your own. You know, it, it just seems like a great concept and a, a great yeah. cooker. 
Definitely. We have I've got, I've got some younger younger members of the family, the teenagers, kids, sort of thing. And I get nothing gives me greater pleasure than seeing them cooking on it. You know what I mean? It's because they don't get an opportunity to cook on anything like that, you see. So no. when I walk away from the grill and I'm talking to people and chatting, sort of thing, I turn around and they're on there. You know, they're a bit tentative at first, but once they get into it and they use it using the grill, it's great because you get them then into that life of mm -hmm. grilling and you know and and they come up with their own ideas on stuff, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah that's what I like about it. But what so, you were saying before, Matt, was about, you know, with people cooking around it. There's a business in this for somebody just taking yeah, these definitely. things around and cooking at events. 100%. Just like you said, at Glastonbury yeah. and things like that. If you've got your health and safety certificates, you could go around anyway and cook anything you wanted on them. Yeah. You had two or three of them going at any one time, you'd feed an army with them. Uh, there's this lady, shameless plug. Her name is Josie Road. She has a YouTube channel called The Road to Good Cooking. Thanks for letting me do that. Anyway, she has one. I don't know if it's a, if it's one of yours, but she has one very similar. I think it is one of yours. And she's a caterer. Okay. So she goes, she does the whole catering gig, and she sets that up. And, I mean, I wish I had her channel up. I could show it. But And she has people around. She's cooking dogs. She's cooking sausages. She's doing kebabs. And she has people around turning their own thing. Imagine that you're a caterer. So not only are you bringing the meat, you're also bringing an event so people can, you know, if you market it right, you know, do it yourself. Yeah, exactly. yeah. 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 So exactly. have, look, have the that at a wedding, possibly. have that at a birthday party, have that exactly. at a, you know, yeah. I completely agree. Yeah. It's a wild factor, isn't it? Something completely different. A wild Absolutely. Factor. Yeah. yeah. You know, you get, get, get someone rock up with a couple of, um, like Weber kettles, or you get, you know, it's not even that. You'd get someone rock up, like the typical is like a, a hog roast, isn't it? They rock yeah. up with a trailer yeah. unit that's got a hog roast. Well, every man and his fucking dog's got one of them now. Of course, yeah. 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 Every, every man and his dog's had a hog roast at a wedding. But yeah. if you show What's you show up thing? to an event with two or three Weber kettles, they're going to expect you to cook on those three. Yeah, exactly. They don't intend to be involved at all. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You show you, you show up with three yeah. of these. And this is like, what are these for? And you just get people standing around turning meat on kebabs or on, you know, come on, man. That's, yeah. it, it's going to sell itself. Of course. Absolutely. It's like C-Mac was doing, C -Mac was doing the, the seafood the other day. And um, could you imagine turning that out at a wedding? You know what I mean? People in the, in would the be absolutely in the amazed they, by they it. Would they would be, they, they'd stagger <laughs> backwards here in the UK if they was yeah, given yeah, stuff definitely. like that. Yeah. Yep. Um, those... I, the, the the little bricks the um brick nicks yeah, brick -nicks, brick -nicks. yeah did you cook the the stuff on the art of flame in those brick nicks yeah so i the when i did the lobster the, the last one that i posted yeah. um i did that on the uh on my extra large big green egg with the art of flame insert oh, okay yep no way and I mean, I, I, I've used them with just my regular big green egg grill in there too. Yeah. I just happen to have the insert in there um, at that time. Plus, plus, what you know, the nice thing about cooking with that insert, by the way, is if I needed to add more charcoal to that cook, all I got to do is take my brick nicks and kind of push them to the outside of the plancha, yeah. pull, pull the grate and throw it in versus if I had it on my regular big green egg grill i'd have to take yeah. the brick next out take the grill out put more lump in now yeah. granted i didn't need to that's you know when you're cooking the brick neck it's not that that you know it's it's you know it's not like smoking it's not low and small right i'm not i'm not gonna no. run out a lump on a brick neck cook mm -hmm. but um but still it's again just like the the standalone art of flame it, i always call it the gateway drug of art of flames right somebody will go out somebody will go out and get get an insert for their weber or their big green egg or their kamado and figure out they love cooking on this thing so much that the next thing they know they're getting a you know 140 or a classic or a euro so yeah um, but but it's a very similar cooking experience it's just a little bit tougher to get Looking around it like you would one of the freestanding art of flames. Yeah, uh, I'm looking at them now. Wow. <laughs> Phil's trying to think of a reason why he needs one. <laughs> no, I know why. No, I, no, no, I need no, to no, figure no, out no, how, no, how, no, how no, to no, get yeah. it. <laughs> I know why I need one. I got to figure out how to con my wife into how to get it. 
Well, you've got, you've got to speak nicely to C-Mac and you might be able to, you know, hook a brother up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my, I'll tell you the, my, I had been looking at him for about three years and the tipping point for me was the beginning of COVID where, yeah. you know, everybody f found out that, you know, you're going to be spending a lot of time at home yeah. and, and yeah, granted, you know, I mean, maybe it was a, a little bit of an excuse, but uh, you know, one of the industries that has just exploded, right. Is the grilling is anything that has to do Absolutely. with being at home, you know, landscapers and, you know, yeah pool builders and hot tubs and you know all that stuff just exploded so yeah that was kind of my excuse to finally pull the trigger on it and uh i haven't i haven't regretted it for a second no. I'm, look i'm looking at the ad right now i'm regretting it right now Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, phil, phil i'm gonna shoot you my affiliate link all right do that man <laughs> do that come on man <laughs> I mean, I like the concept. That's like fire and forget it, man. You throw it in there, put it next to the fire, go drink a beer, come back, and pow, time to eat. Let it cool down. What, Phil. You go. Phil, when, when you buy one, send me the invite and I'll, I'll be over. <laughs> oh, I was going to buy it on my way to the UK to drink the beers oh, okay. you offered me. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I said before Phil came on the show, we owe him a lot of beer tokens now. <laughs> <laughs> beer? What? Who drinks beer? we will be able to catch yeah. that once COVID's gone, mate. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I can't wait until it's gone, mate. I, I've, I, I've, I died a little inside when we, you know, everyone's got to stay the fucking doors. I, I love cooking for people, you yeah. know, and I, th I, I think I probably speak for everybody. It's the same, you know. Yeah. We, we enjoy cooking and, and seeing other people's pleasure from what we yeah. made. That's yep. it. Yeah, that's half um, of it, isn't it? You know what I mean? Man, that's, that's exactly. I tell you, this has been a kick in the teeth. So oh, this has been a kick in the balls. Like, See, we like yeah. to travel. Me and my group. I got a wife, four daughters. Okay. Cruises. We love going yeah. on cruises. Dude, we go on a cruise annually. And nope. We haven't been anywhere. And if you has anyone in here not been on a cruise? Love them. I haven't been on a cruise actually. Never? <laughs> oh amazing, my amazing, God. Amazing. I want to. Phil, it I, keep is a, I keep telling him, Phil, the great cruises are fantastic. Oh my goodness. They're floating cities. And we like the big ones. I've been on the Oasis of the Sea twice. The uh, well, I like Royal Caribbean, and uh, back in the day when the Oasis was the biggest one on the planet, we went on that one twice. Oh my goodness, man! It's just if you drink, you get, you get, you get the, the as long as you get the drink package, you need <laughs> nothing else because the food's pretty much unlimited. Now, look, you wake up after the hangover's over at two in the morning, three in the morning, get on the phone, boop, boop, room service. They'll still bring you the lobster. No. <laughs> yes, what indeed. I'm missing out. What on earth? I'm telling you, we listen. You go to my channel. Go look. You go to Daddy Cooks. I got like three or four cruise videos. Just check them out. Just check them out. I was in the middle of the ocean on the Oasis of the Seas the second time. And I've told this story a couple of times. Mm. So my wife wanted breakfast. I said, look, we're not going to order room service. I'll go get it. So she's in the room. I get on the elevator. I'm on my way down. I pick up whatever I get. And I'm on my way back up. And there's this lady from the UK, black lady from the UK. I got my hands full and she's looking at me like this. So I start looking at her like that. <laughs> and she says, she says, you're cook daddy. My channel's daddy cook. She says, you're cook daddy. I say, excuse me. I said, yeah, I got a channel called daddy cook. She's like, you're the reason I'm on this boat. I'm in the middle of the ocean, out of the blue. Nice. She says, I saw your video of this ship, and that, you're the reason I'm here. I laughed, you know, <laughs> shook her hand, blah, blah, blah. Dude, go, y'all should go on a cruise. Yeah. Nice. Go on a cruise. Phil, I've got a, great, I've got a great cruise story, Phil. Okay. I was, sat, I was sat on the balcony of my room, drinking a glass of wine. Hmm. I was just going across a perfectly flat Mediterranean sea. And I looked to the back of the ship and I can see a bird flying across the sea. Yeah. And it's and it's actually catching up with the boat. Oh it's shit. Getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. And then I looked to my right and there was a bird further along just sat in the sea all on its own in the middle of nowhere. Fuck all there but the boat and the bird. And this <laughs> bird flying along came flying along, flying along, jumped on the bird in the sea, kicked the shit out of it <laughs> until it flew off. I 
this Thank is my patch of C. Fuck you. <laughs> cruises the cruises are great. Yeah, Saturday oh, spots. We give him a good idea. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. Yes. Amazing. Best best type of holiday. Yeah, it is. And what I like the most about a cruise is you take your whole family and it seems like it costs a lot, but it doesn't if you put it in perspective. You don't have to worry about track. Now you're going from you know one country to another. If you depend on the cruise, seven day cruise, you got what two, three ports of call. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you take your whole family to three countries. You don't have to pay for that additional travel. They're eating anyway. That's paid for. You're drinking if you got the drink package. That's paid for. You can leave the boat, come back. You got room and board. Come on, man. It's the most economical freaking travel, and it's luxurious. Everything's there. You want to see a movie? See a movie. Want to go dancing? Go dancing. You want to freaking go gambling? Go gambling. You want to watch people do stupid stuff in the pool? You can go do that too. It's everything's right there, and it goes with you. That sounds like my kind of holiday. Stupid yeah. shit in the pool. They are amazing. Cannonball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just, just be careful. Be careful of the, of the hot tubs. Ain't no telling what they're boiling in that water. That's <laughs> a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of people in there. <laughs> I suppose we're we suppose we're blessed really being in Europe. You know, two two hours for us we can be in we can be in five different countries. Yeah. You know, we're, we're, yeah. We're pretty, two hours on a flight would be in five different countries. Two hours on a flight for you guys, you um Cook, we're still in America. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours on a flight you're in Kentucky. Oh shit! Did I did I trade up or did I trade down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. The only thing, look, you two hours on a plane in America, and you land. The only thing that changes the accent and the food. That's it. Yep. Yeah, True. but you've got you've got a lot in America, guys. I mean, you got you got North in America. You can get all the snow. It's like you said before. You're down south, you've got all the yeah. all the beautiful weather and so, things like that. But each each area has got its own thing going on, you know. And this is true. I'm not going to downplay America. We're beautiful in our own different uh, way. Yeah, of course you are. You know what I mean? It's, that's why a lot of people don't travel out of America. There's so much there to see and do anyway. You couldn't see it all in a lifetime anyway. You know? This that's is true. Nope. This is true. Yeah. And we've seen some sights in Miami, Mick, haven't we? Poof, did we? Oh. <laughs> Ocean Drive. We wow. saw some sights in Miami. Jeez. Oh yeah. We we took the girls to we took the girls to Miami, didn't we? I took I took Mike took his wife and I took mine a couple of years back. Yeah, it was uh, pretty good. Apart from it was eighty four dollars for four beers. <laughs> yeah. Wow. The yeah, good thing about that was it was mixed gold round. plated cup. Eighty four dollars, and the, the the girls said uh, the girls said, oh, we'll have. Um, can we have two Desperados? And the guy was like, Desperados? And I'm like, Desperados. And he said, oh, yeah, we've got these. It's uh, such, such a thing. So it's like Desperados. It wasn't. They gave the they gave the girls two IPAs and me and, and, me and Mike two, like, schooners. And then the guy came. Like, and, he, and then he went, it was $84. I almost flipped, <laughs> I almost flipped the table. Wow. <laughs> It was worth every last cent to see Nick's face when he it got was, the bill. It was my eighty-four dollars <laughs> for four drinks. Eighty-four dollars. Yeah. yeah. It was one wow. Of the, one of the that's like strip <laughs> club. That's like strip club drinks to the tenth power, man. Uh, I tell you, they they saw you coming. Four dollars. Yeah. One of the greatest moments of Mike's life. I watching me pay that bill. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's crazy. See, I, you know, I you go to spend... you go to strip club, you'll pay like freaking eight, nine, ten, twelve bucks for a beer, but there's titties there. But wait, um, strictly from what I've heard, I watched the Discovery Channel in case my yeah, wife of watches. Course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> research purposes. Only only for research purposes. Only for research purposes. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, case. boys, listen, I got to I gotta jump. I didn't want to just uh, close out. Uh, great show tonight. Uh, and, uh, and and Matt, um, do me a favor. Send my best to Ryan. I understand that he yeah. was having his transitional surgery into a woman this week. <laughs> or is that what was going on? Into, into a man. Uh, <laughs> all, right. all right, boys, have a good weekend. Good seeing everybody. Yeah. Take care, brother. See, See you guys. See you, Oh, man, we've been ignoring the chat. Oh, Bobby, my favorite Bobby's in here. Hey, my favorite Bobby, if you're still here. And someone said something interesting. Um, oh, C-Mac's gone now. Darnell said, I'm always impressed when I see C-Mac cooking on the uh, Art of Flame. Yeah. yeah. 
C Mac C Mac cooking an art flame, it just looks like a normal sized grill though, doesn't it? Yeah, I know we said <laughs> it's just I didn't realise how big it was. He's telling me definitely Bigfoot. I reckon you, you you know, chuck some PVA on him, chuck some hair, he's definitely Bigfoot. <laughs> that's what hundred percent Bigfoot. Yeah. No, y'all see that commercial? <laughs> Bigfoot. What'd you call me? My name's Daryl. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he said, "What'd you call me? My name's C Mac." <laughs> yeah. My name's Craig. That's funny. And maybe he's, you know, he's, he's secretly he's got sort of, you know, a, a Gillette contract, and he's just constantly getting rid of it. No, that Manscape. Yeah, yeah my, uh, you see those Manscape commercial? Yeah, Has man your man shaved his balls? You be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> these, things, these, these things are so good it can fucking clear Bigfoot's <laughs> Check him out, you know, cooks on a lot of flame. <laughs> Those commercials are crazy. Haven't seen your anus in a while. You should manscape. What did <laughs> they say? <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. But I agree, man. It was a good show, guys. You guys did great. Uh, Matt, thanks for having me. It was uh, a good time. It was a good time. I learned a lot. Yeah, I want one. Shit, I'm, now I'm jealous. Shit, I want one. <laughs> Hope to see you again, Phil. Nice to meet you, mate. Yeah, oh, nice yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, hey, Matt, I'm going to have to bounce over here. Yeah, um, no worries. I think, in fact, I am probably, because I'm not Ryan, and I'm not going to let the pub club run until 2 o'clock in the morning. I I know. I'm actually going to wrap the pub club up early. Um, okay, mate. Because, you know, you guys have got other things to do, and to be honest, so do I. Okay. <laughs> He's going to go pick his wife up. Three, yeah, that's you're like you're playing gonna, fuck off nicely. At least you're listening, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to go pick his wife up. I've got to pick my wife up, and that's the same as every week. And I and I tell Ryan that, and he makes me look like a complete bell end. That's time. terrible. It's, just, you know, it's like you just can't hack it. No, 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 no. I go go and pick my wife up. Yeah, there's a there's priorities. Priorities. <laughs> look, I can shake your hand all day, but there's other things I can do with her. <laughs> yeah. no, absolutely. Um, let me. I'll throw this out, Matt. Um, if you need me next week, just give me a call. Thank you, Phil. Thank all right, will, uh, I gotta go. Right. Nice meeting all of you guys, and uh, I will see you. I'll yeah. see you when I see. Thanks again, Phil. All right, man. Bye. Um, thanks. Thanks. Okay, okay, guys. Um, thanks, give guys. Our, give our regards to Ryan as well. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. Yeah. 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 yeah thanks, mate. See you later, guys. Thank guys. Both see for guys. coming on. Thank you very much. And then. Uh, Oh. Did you did you catch what I was saying, Joey? That I'm closing the pub club and you. Oh, out. I did, man. I was just about to pop on and see what's up. Well, it's, it's like fucking. What is it? Uh, oh, you guys, you guys set the clocks ahead this weekend, don't you? Yeah. Oh shit, yeah, we do it. Not, it's not happened yet. Yeah, yeah, it happens on uh, tonight, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, Tomorrow. Saturday night. Yes, you guys, you guys, you guys better get your rest. Yeah, totally. Well, thanks for having me out for two seconds, brother. Yeah. No, that's all right. We'll I, close the show. You need, you need no, to get yourself I'm, I'm a right. mat. <laughs> mate, I thank you for sending me the link. And yes, I definitely do. the only Bigger place in the UK. Definitely the only place. We, I'm sure we're the only place in the UK who's got them. They look cool. Do like it's it. Such a, I don't such, know where it's such a different. I mean, to be Let fair, me it's almost like a Dutch oven, though. But it's the other thing that's arrived. Can you see it? Oh, you sneaky fucker! I just need to get in the garden now. Oh, that's a little beaut, that, isn't it? It's the. That new table, space table. Where did you get that from? From Komodo Space. Is it? Have I got oh, a great... I'll let you into. I'll let, I'll let you into a little secret. Yeah. So I've had, I've had the uh, the lovely you opportunity. No, no, I've had the lovely opportunity of uh, being able to get myself a new toy. You bought the Hammer Forge thing. No. Nah. Do you know, I, I, I decided against the um, Hellraiser Yammer. And I went for a Traeger 780. <laughs> Why did you not contact me? Huh? Why did you not contact me? Oh, I don't know. Why? What, 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 what do I sell? On? What I do I sell? I had to beat, had to beat nah. your price. What did you pay for it? 
1230. <coughs> Rip off. No, for 780. The yep. shelf. The hopper thing. <coughs> the cover. Oh, it was 11, uh, 11, uh, 1150 for a bag of pellets, some, a robe, chicken throne, cover, and a grill. You've got a friend of me wanting to know if I'm going live. I'm going live in about three hours and 15 minutes. So I'm not going live right now, but I, I will be. I will have a guest on live later, though, if you want to see that. Some, it's a local radio guy. You guys, you guys would have no clue who he was over there in the UK, but if you're... Yeah. No, I Obviously, no. I mean, it, it might be it might be fun if you want interesting uh, insights on radio. It depends on what your thing is. I do like my uh, Traeger, though, um, Matt. Do you know it was a toss up between a KJ Classic Two because I couldn't afford the three. Have you got a Summit? No. You no no no. I don't. I, I like my Komodo. My Komodo fits a purpose, and if I could only have one grill, it'd be a Komodo. See a lot. Of, I, I I asked a lot of people's opinion. And they were like, "Get a KJ. It's so versatile." If I had, if I could only have, if I had only read space for one grill, Komodo. Just because yeah, I got, a, I got a feeling I've probably done the wrong thing. Really, I tell you what. No, but I'm going to end the live. Like the I'm going to end the live for a minute, yeah. and then uh, we'll carry on.